Hey guys, you clicked on this video because you want to know what the coloring codes are to an aftermarket stereo. So let's get right into it. This is an older Sony head unit. So this is going to be pretty universal throughout all the head units out there. First thing we're going to cover is the black wire. This goes to chassis ground. This is the negative side. It might have a ring terminal on it. Next we have yellow. This goes to 12 volt constant, meaning the positive side of your battery. This circuit should always be fused at some point. This right here, the red one, is the accessory switch circuit. It goes to a switch circuit that usually goes to your ignition switch. When your key turns over, it turns on the accessory circuit, making this hot. Next we have the blue wires with white stripe. This one right here is the remote turn on. This will turn on your amps and other type of aftermarket accessories. Next we have a blue solid wire. This right here is usually for a power antenna. So if you have one that goes up or goes down, or you have one that's amplified, this is what you hook up to. If you don't have this, you're gonna hook up to the remote turn on. I can go over that more if you guys want a video on that. Most common reason why you're looking this stuff up is gonna be the power wires or these right here, the speaker wires. Typically, the solid colors are always gonna be positive and the matching color with the stripe is the negative. Now that we covered the stripe versus the solid colors, I'll be able to tell you what these eight leads go to. The front left speaker is gonna be your white leads. Right speaker is gonna be the gray ones. The rear left speaker is gonna be the green and the rear right is gonna be purple. So remember, stripes are negative, solids are positive. Like I said, always double check your manufacturer. This right here, the orange with the white stripe is your dimmer. So when you turn the headlights on your car, this will activate this and it will go ahead and dim the face of the head unit. If you're not sure which one you have in the vehicle, just make sure to cap off this lead. This will pop fuses and have a lot of issues if you don't hook up this wire correctly. So I'm not gonna cover much on it because if you're looking this up, chances are you don't know much about car audio and I'm not dogging you. I just don't want you to ruin your car. If you want more information how to test for this wire, make sure to click and subscribe to this channel. I'm gonna cover more car audio stuff. If you have any other questions, drop them in the comments below. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.